Hello everybody, John here again, and today onto the garage, we're on another little shakedown run of the XK8, and some secrets of the XK8. If you're wondering why there's been a little, little bit of a flourish of videos come out recently, um, I'm at home at the moment due to the coronavirus in the UK. Uh, I've not got it, my wife's not got it, um, but my clients have it. So I'm kind of in forced absence at the moment. taking the opportunity of one of the few days that's not been disastrously windy or wet lately just taking Purdy out for a quick spin blow the cobwebs out so to speak and continue just getting the systems to reset after I completed my complete brake upgrade One of the things I want to get for the channel quite soon is a really good um, camera mount for the window, both inside and outside, because you guys can see the twitch I get when I'm using my current mount, which has a single sucker and plastic construction. So if I leave it to its own devices, it rocks a lot. If I touch it like I am now and hold it against a fixed point in the dashboard, it's reasonable, but it's not ideal just for sharing uh, the view while you're driving or for talking too. It's not too bad when you flip it the camera around, in fairness. Just head down the lanes. Show you a little bit of Lincolnshire. Strange area where I live. It's um, not well populated. Other than the obvious resort towns, places like Skegness and Mablethorpe, where there's lots of tourists, um, there's generally not a lot of people about, certainly not a lot of residents, and there's not an awful lot of work, so you have this weird mix of um, uh, low cost of living, um, not much good in the way of job prospects, a lot of older people, because retirement over here is really good. Um, space and cost of living again. I've just realised I'm following a Rolls Royce. <laughs> Not uncommon around here again. There, there's an awful lot of rather wealthy people plus car nuts. <laughs> so, um, and those wealthy people aren't affected by the fact that there's not so much work in this region and they enjoy the space and living how they like. So, yeah, odd area, but we do have huge positive for car fans and that is we don't have a lot of stuff on our roads we have some really beautiful roads the Lincolnshire Wolds are amazing uh, we have Cadwell Park which is uh, known tongue-in-cheek as the mini Nürburgring because if you've ever been to the Nürburgring you realize micro Nürburgring might be more appropriate but beautiful racetrack lots of car specialists um, it is a bit of a petrol head area and we do have a, a very large American influence in the area because historically it's a airbase county being very flat it's known as Bomber County and an awful lot of Americans were based here during the Second World War um, and since then there's, there's still air bases that are occupied by uh, American crews. So 
we have American cars knocking around, probably in greater numbers than in most parts of the UK. All fabulous. Once you're out of the towns, most roads like this one will have a deep drain on both sides of the road. We call them drains, they're little man-made um, water courses, um, but some of them are very deep. The one to our right at the moment, I reckon is 10 feet down to the water, and then another five feet below that. Uh, on the left is a much smaller ditch, just uh, for runoff from the fields. And that's because of flood defences and um, looking after the, the land farm farmland because we are just below sea level um, but what that means is people come and scream around on motorcycles and cars who don't know the area thinking that they can push the limits you put a wheel on the grass and you're off you're gonna hit the opposite bank of a dike uh, going quite quickly and it's like hitting a wall or you're gonna drown so um, Please drive responsibly if you drive in Lincolnshire. And a lot of Norfolk is the same as well, for slightly different reasons. More natural water in that area. I think we'll let the Silver Spirit do its thing and we'll go a different way. reasons I wanted to come out here is just find a bit of loose surface. I uh, just want to provoke the ABS into action. So, got a bit of loose gravel. And today onto the garage, I'm sharing a secret of the XK8 that was suggested by one of our subscribers, Richard Sutton. Hi Richard, thank you so much for everything you're giving back to the channel. Uh, also Richard, I should point out the other little um, secret that you offered involving drilling a big hole. I will be applying, so uh, don't be surprised if that pops up at some point in the future. So, um, what's this secret, possibly you might say a hint or tip, um, that I've got from Richard? Like most of you, I probably don't keep my spare wheel nut in the appropriate place, which is the foam tool kit holder underneath the spare wheel all of the time. In fact, not set up for this video, trust me. If I spin you round just for a moment and look in my glove box at the moment. There is my puzzle nut and the cover puller for the wheel nuts. The reason that's there, I've been doing a lot of work on the brakes, as you all know. Um, I've only driven it a little distance. I need to top re tighten the wheel nuts. Plus, I am having a problem with probably a brake sensor, so it's going to come back off. And it's just a pain to keep sticking it underneath the spare wheel. Just going to go in the boot, but good practice. Use your key now and again, because that makes sure that it works, just in case we have an issue where you need it to work. So I'm just going to take my toner cover and blanket out. And for ease of viewing, I'm gonna completely remove my spare wheel cover or floor. And as we know, the puzzle nut lives underneath the spare wheel. So I'm gonna lift this to put my puzzle nut back.
and because it takes a minute or so that's why I've been keeping it in my glove box okay what I'm going to do now is I'm going to rotate my wheel into that orientation so sort of 45 degrees if you're looking at these areas with the sticker on across with the one hole at the bottom or would be if I lined it up properly that's just there you go and I'm going to put that back There we go. Now, what that's done is, this is the hole where that lives. That goes straight through the hole in the wheel into position. This belongs elsewhere. You can't see where this has got to go. So what we're gonna do, oh, that's easy. it in there it's below flush it's easy to pick out I can still get at the tube to pull the covers off the nuts and it's not going to come out how perfect is that I don't know if that was ever the intention of Jaguar but just look at the alignment I would call that practically a correct panel gap <laughs> so what a brilliant little tip that's uh, been offered there by Richard thank you so much Richard for those of you interested the running in of the new brakes is going well the black protective coat has come off in the main on the front on the swept surfaces the powder coated calipers are looking beautiful on the rear it's not completely cleaned up yet as you can see but it's getting there so I'll be reporting back on the performance of these brakes quite soon.